The future of Paul Pogba to be discussed with Shaka Hislop. Transfer window shuts before the Premier League season mm. starts. First question, is Paul Pogba part of the Manchester United squad on the opening day against Leicester? I would have thought so. And then all of a sudden, things have, have kind of changed over the last 48 hours. I, I felt that Pogba is not the kind of player, not the kind of personality to, to maybe upset the apple cart or, or that much. And then I thought his, his experience in the summer with France, winning the World Cup, uh, and playing in that defensive role un, under Deschamps, man, he comes back to Old Trafford, willing to give it a go, despite the disappointments under Mourinho over the, last, over the last season. And then you see, you hear the rumours about Mino Raiola being in England. And more importantly, you kind of see Mourinho's response to Pogba winning the World Cup. Well, he's that kind of player. He can win the World Cup. He, over the course of a long season, I, I really wish he could figure things out and, uh, and, and, and do the same for us. We aren't the ones who, who are preventing Paul Pogba from being his best. And, and you just feel that Pogba coming off the high of the World Cup win, to hear his manager make those kinds of comments has to be a bit of a blow, an, an, an absolute body blow. And, and you think, listen, this isn't working out, you know, and, and maybe he initiates the, the, the move away. We get a lot of tweets and emails from Manchester United fans if we have a go or say derogatory things about Jose Mourinho. What's your message to those fans who hear us talk about Mourinho in ways they don't like? Well, on, on the one hand, there are also a huge percentage of Manchester United fans who are not at all impressed with Jose Mourinho. And, and, and we'll say so. The ones we hear from... Make, make sure their voices are heard loud and clear. They support Jose Mourinho. Um, but I, I, I stand by our criticism of, of, of Jose Mourinho. I stand by my criticism of Jose Mourinho. Given the quality of player he has, I just feel that he's too negative. And it works for a while, and eventually it unravels. It worked for a while at Chelsea. He, they won the title. But then all of a sudden that continued negative rhetoric gets to a dressing room and you show that in the following season. And then Antonio Conte comes, pretty much takes that same set of players and wins the league. And my, my big concern with Manchester United is as much as we've seen Manchester City establish themselves as the runaway best team in, in, in the league last season, you, you expect more of the same this time around. If you're Manchester United, if you're one of the players and you think, okay, we're not going to catch, we're not catching City, at this point, we're kind of falling behind even Liverpool and our manager continues to be negative. Uh, is this really the place for me? Is this what I signed up for? Is this what they sold me on? No. And, mm. and how far back do you regress? Do you regress to a third place finish and at least you've got Champions League football to, to look forward to in 1920 or do you regress as far back as you saw Chelsea do in their third season under Jose Mourinho in his second spell? You could certainly talk about United all day, there's plenty to talk about. Mm. One final thing though, Barcelona, Juventus are the two teams linked, probably two of mm -hmm. a few teams, very few teams that could afford Pogba. Uh, sporting director at Barcelona's Eric Abidal, kind of knows Pogba pretty well. You're a conspiracy theorist, you know. Just saying. I, I'm not. I'm not making that connection. That's, no, you've said. You said he stayed. You. He said he stayed. You're a conspiracy theorist. I'm staying well away from that.